With cell phones becoming bigger year after year, some are quick to write off the tablet as a dead fat. It was great for a couple of years, but now there's really no more use for it. I challenge this perception because I still love my iPad. And yes, I use it less now than I did, say, five years ago. There's a lot of things that I used to go to my iPad for that now I can just do on my phone. But there are a few things that I really only can do well on an iPad. With that in mind, I decided to show you five apps that I can't live without on my iPad. Let's take a look. Alright guys, so this is my iPad. It's the 9.7 iPad Air. It's the latest model. I bought it to replace this aging iPad mini that I bought some five years ago. Now I really only use it to show a live counter of my subscribers here on this channel. It's a nice motivator seeing that number climbing as I'm working on a new video. So the first app here on this list is an app called Chunky. The icon's right here. Chunky is a comic book reader and it's one of the better ones I've used over the years. I used to use this guy right here, Comic Z but I don't think the developer has updated it in a while and it looks a little bit dated I still have a lot of my comics here that I was too lazy to transfer over to chunky But yeah, uh, let's go back to chunky here So as you can see the comics show really nicely the covers here and it organizes your comics automatically by series So you don't have to really do a lot of fidgeting with it You put a whole bunch of comics in it kind of figures out that by the file name They're supposed to be together in a series so just organize it all for you if a few times depending on the name of the file There's something funky you have have to like drag one individual comic to its proper uh, area. For the most part, it does it all on its own. I do most of my reading uh, on Chunky, and as you can see here, I have some old gaming magazines. I love reading these old gaming magazines. They really take me back, and one of my favorite features in this app is the fact that you can download the comics from a synced Dropbox account. So if you go here on this cloud here, you can go into your Dropbox. So I have a whole folder called comic books and at the moment I only have the ultimates right so when I download comics they go into this folder on my Dropbox and then I just pick up my iPad and I just download them right here so that's a great way to to have all your comics in one place I'm on the road a lot and I need to edit videos when I'm on the road and for that I have this right here Luma Fusion this is by far the best video editor available on the iPad right now it also works on the iPhone but for obvious reasons it's much better to edit videos on the iPad on account of the bigger screen real estate. So as you can see here, let me try to get the rotate. It's very, very, uh, I'm getting a lot of, uh, now not so much glare. LumaFusion is a very robust application for video editing. So you can, you can do the easy things, you can do the simple things like trimming, you know, cutting the video, and you can trim it here like so. You can add uh, a soundtrack and things like that, but it does a lot more interesting, a lot more in-depth things. Like for instance, you can load up a clip and then you can mess around with like panning and crop and doing like all sorts of like things that you don't really expect to be able to do on a portable platform, right? Like messing around with the frame like that and there's all sorts of effects. There's, uh, you can you can timeline edit the changes to the frame. So like I want this to be like this big like here and then as the scene progresses, I want it to zoom out. So you can do all of that. That's not something, see as you, you can see there it's zooming in and you can add other effects. It's actually very, it's, it's very robust. Like I said, it's equivalent to Sony Vegas when it comes to features from my point of view. And Sony Vegas is the one that I use on my computer. Now the best thing about LumaFusion, uh, I really wish there wasn't so much glare. Let's, uh, let's try that. The best thing about LumaFusion is that it, it supports, man, this is really tricky. It supports shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts. So I use this uh, foldable keyboard here by Microsoft. So when you're editing, um, I think it's synced, is it synced? Yeah, it is, so. Editing with the keyboard like this is much faster because you can, there's a bunch of shortcuts. I haven't added on this in a little while. Let's see here, I believe it's uh, Command B. Uh, yeah, Command B inserts a cut there as you can see. And then I think Command X will delete a whole section and then you can navigate like this. So you're constantly like going over here, Command B, and then go back. Play the video and you add let me go forward here if you press shift and then the arrow keys it goes faster so come in be here let's go back here i think c selects a, a function a, a section of the video then command x delete it and then so you just go scrubbing the footage like this it is surprisingly uh it is a really good way to edit videos on the go with this keyboard this is the microsoft foldable keyboard by the way uh this keyboard with this uh, application it's a great way 
to be able to continue my work when I'm on the road. I mentioned Dropbox and I'm sure you're familiar with this file sharing service, but basically it's a uh, it's an app that you can install on your on your tablet, on your phone, on your computer, and then you can synchronize files in between all platforms. And for somebody who works with video editing, this is brilliant because I can have, as you can see here, a lot of video assets on Dropbox that I use on my computer, and I also get access to them here on my tablet. So if I need to insert like an intro, the, the same intro that I use on my videos when I'm editing them on the computer, I have access to them on the go here on my iPad, making for a seamless editing experience, whether I'm on the computer or on my tablet tablet and in a pinch even on my phone because LumaFusion is available for the iPhone. I've actually edited videos on it. Of course, it's not as comfortable as editing on the iPad because of the smaller screen. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't mention Reddit, as you know. It's hard to describe Reddit, especially for my Brazilian friends. It's not as popular in Brazil as it is in North America. So I get a lot of like, Izzy, can you do a video explaining how Reddit works for us? And I'm, I've been too lazy so far to do that, but I, it's coming. It's gonna come at some point. But basically Reddit is, one way I would describe it is, it's a big forum. You remember forums on the internet, right? But the beauty of Reddit is that instead of having to sign up to a bunch of different forums or finding new forums and then creating new accounts if you develop a different interest, you find all of them in one place. Reddit has a bunch of so-called subreddits, which are like sub forums. There are smaller communities within Reddit that revolve around a specific subject. So for instance, I subscribe to the Switch subreddit, the 3DS subreddit. There is a retro gaming subreddit that I also frequent. There's the Game Boy subreddit. It's a great way to research stories or to just keep up with the news. And finally, I have to mention games. I have a whole bunch of games on my iPad, but lately the only one I've been playing is Papers, Please. This is an indie title that came out in in, I want to say 2011. Papers, Please is kind of hard to describe because it doesn't sound like it's a fun game when you first hear about it, but it's basically a bureaucracy simulator, if you will. And now the crazy whatever simulators are kind of old hat at this point because they became almost a meme. But at the time when this came out, this was a little more unique. So basically you play the role of a border security agent and there's people trying to come into your country and you have to look at their passports, look at the documentation they have, check out their story to see if it matches the documentation that they're providing. So let me try to show you here very quickly. So every day you have a different set of rules. These are the people who can come in, these people cannot. I'm gonna open it here. So there's this guy or this girl, I can't really tell. So much glare going on. This is their passport. This is a, a uh, entry permit. So I have to check my little uh, guidebook to see who can come in, what are the rules, depending on which country they're from. Can they come in if they have this documentation or that? You have to look at the everything here. It can't zoom in, but you have to look. I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer. You have to look at the dates on everything to make sure that it's all valid, to make sure that it's, it's not a counterfeit passport. So there's a lot going on. There's a timer. You have to be very efficient so that your family can eat because you earn money for every day that you work. And the faster you process people, the more money you make, but then the more mistakes you'll make as well. So it's a very stressful game. And like I said, from the me describing how the game works, it doesn't sound like fun because it is a little bit fast paced. It is a little bit stressful, but it is a lot of fun. Trust me. And the game gets harder. There's the transcript of what they're saying. So you have, you can confirm if there's, if they're saying something that doesn't really match what you see here because they are using a counterfeit uh, piece of documentation. It's it's a very interesting game. And then you finally stamp them denied or approved if they fit the criteria to enter the country in this particular day. Like I said, the rules change every day. So that's it. Those are the five apps I can do without on my iPad. I'm not sure if you guys are still tablet enthusiasts like I am. I know that a lot of people kind of gave up on tablets as their phones became bigger and bigger. But do you still use an iPad or any other tablet? What are five apps that you can't live without on your tablet. Let me know in the comments below. I'm always on the lookout for good recommendations, so I'm very curious about what you guys are going to suggest. And that's all the time I have for today. I'm Izzy and I'm done.